Hey Blip Sounds, Brian Seeley here for the June competition winner announcement video. Uh, my sincerest apologies for being late between extending the deadline of the competition as well as the holiday weekend. Uh, time just got away from me, but no more excuses. Without further ado, we are going to dive into this. This was an incredible competition. Uh, just as a reminder, we were redesigning the ice attack from Chrono Trigger. We had quite a few entries and it was really difficult to narrow down uh, the top five as well as even the winner, but I am excited to share those with you. Now, without further ado, let's check out the winners. Uh, starting in fifth place is Squoche, and we're going to go ahead and check out his video now. So uh, I really love the 16-bit sound to it. Uh, yes, the challenge was taking an older game and making it sound like a newer game, and... Uh, I will take the blame for not making that clear enough. I uh, I really did love this 16-bit sound. I thought uh, I thought you did a great job with it, and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it it felt good. It uh, felt like it would belong in the game. You know, you you everything that you saw on screen was given a sound, and I think that that's a great job. You know, the, the glowing at the beginning, the UI sounds, uh, the start of the attack. Uh, the, the running and the jumping sounds, giving them that 16-bit synth field was absolutely adorable, and I loved it. Um, accentuating the screen blinking um, with, uh, with the attack. Like I said, great job. Every every visual element is represented by sound. It, it, everything's being clearly communicated. I, I loved it. Um, this was a really fun video, and or uh, this was a really fun recreation. And like I said, it, it feels like it belongs in the game. So great job. Uh, moving on to fourth place is Doku, and we're going to go ahead and check out his sound now. So uh, on his video, Doku says uh, unfinished. So I am going to be somewhat kind in uh, what I have to say. Uh, I love the sound effects that you add, like the running and the jumping. It helped to add some more uh, modern feel to this and gave the characters a sense of weight and a sense of space as they were running around. Um, I love the use of low end on the attack to really bring out that weight to it, that heaviness. Um, you know, as you say, it's unfinished, so I'm sure there's probably a lot of things you would have liked to have added. Uh, there's a lot of elements missing from the beginning of the game or from the beginning of the move where there's just a lot of, uh, of quiet happening. And, you know, even with that little star thing going on it would have been nice to see something with that uh, the sound effects as much as i loved it i thought it was a little too loud um, that could have been turned down and then when the screen flashes adding something there to accentuate that visual element and then like i said the end of this attack sounds and feels really good You know, it, it feels like a powerful attack. Adding in that low end just makes it feel like a powerful attack. Take away the numbers on the screen and it, you know, to me, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's powerful. If it doesn't kill him, it's at least going to take a lot, a lot of his life away. <clears throat> you know, especially when you're dealing with powerful enemies. So great job with that. Uh, moving on to third place is Kevin Gillen with uh, his recreation. Yeah. 
And uh, I I love that beginning sound. It it sounds like magic, you know, with that uh, with the intro move going on. And you know, even catching that sword raising up right there at the beginning is a really nice touch. And then I really like this part of the attack here coming up. Um, I like that you emphasize the high end to really make it sound like a sword attack and an ice attack. If I had my eyes closed, I would say, yeah, that sounds like a sword is being used. Uh, could be glass, could be ice, something to that effect. Like you, you are nailing that end of it. And I thought you did a great job. Um, I think you could have added a little bit more low end overall to uh, to everything to make it or to give it more weight. Um, low end really helps to sell the intensity of an attack. If you think about um, like say a first person shooter when the sound designers want to convey that a, a gun does heavier damage, they just add more low end to that gun. And so it feels more powerful. So adding a little bit more low end to it accentuate the heaviness of the attack, especially the heaviness of the characters running around. I know they're small pixel characters, but if you want to give them more weight, you can add a little bit more low end to their running. You know, I, I also like the little bit of voice work that you did and adding in uh, some of that delay and some of the chorusing effect. Again, driving home that this is a magic attack. And it's one of those things that we feel more than we really consciously are aware of. If it was just dry grunts, like no effects added to it, we would interpret that somehow something is wrong with that, but we wouldn't be able to vocalize it. So by adding in those that delay and coursing effect to it, you're driving home that this is a magic attack. And and like I said, we're, we're expecting that. And so I, I think you did a great job with it. Um, overall, wonderful sound, great use of high end. Uh, the sound wasn't muddy. It was very clearly communicated. There was a lot of space for everything. So I think you did a great job with this, and I think you should be very proud of it. Uh, moving on to second place, we have uh, Justin, and we're going to check out his sound now. <laughs> um, great job. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of good things going on here, and we'll start from the beginning. Uh, you know, we have... Um, the sound being highlighted when the when the fight starts. Um, I like that you added a little bit of running in. Um, it it sounds like someone running on gravel, which does sound um, a little weird based on the fact that it looks like they're in a grass field. So I'd expect to hear more grass sounds. Um, so that was the only thing that kind of took me aback was hearing something like they're running around on gravel. Um, uh, I would have liked to have hear more grass and dirt sounds to kind of, uh, accentuate that. Like, you know, uh, jumping and landing on grass and, and landing on dirt and things like that. But I do like the fact that care was put into those sound effects, that care was that, – that it was thought out that these characters are running, these characters are jumping, and I want to add weight to that. I want to add realism to that. So just having sound effects in there, you, you're, I thought that was a great job. I, I just didn't uh, agree with the choice of sounds that you put in there. Um, I do like the weight and the depth that you give the attack. Um, I also like that single ping right as the screen changes. For some reason, it feels like it creates more anticipation for the attack. Because there's nothing else going on except for that ding with the heavy reverb. And it, it makes it feel like there's more anticipation. So I really enjoyed that. Like I said, I enjoyed the low end of the attack. 
Um, that, that low end, I think you could have added a little bit more in the sub frequencies, like probably down in the 60 Hertz range. Uh, it sounds like you boosted a lot and maybe the 100 and 200 Hertz range, which, uh, which does add, um, some low end to it, but it, that 60 Hertz gives it that little bit more oomph kind of range. Overall, you know, I, I really enjoyed this sound. I, I like the attention to detail and, uh, it, it gives it a sort of fun feel to it and anticipation. So, uh, great job. I, I really loved it. And um, before we get into our uh, top video, I want to go ahead and pick out one of my uh, favorite runner-ups. Uh, this comes from uh, Kyle Williams, and uh, we're going to go ahead and check out his video. So I really like the use of synths in there, especially some of the low, like uh, almost sound like a square wave synth going on that add a little bit of weight and so a little bit of like um, ominous feel to it. it I, I really like that decision. Um, I like the the magic sound at the beginning. It was a that was a, a really interesting take. You know, adding in that that subtle like as the the orbs are spinning around, and and I like that adding some anticipation to it. Um, I like the the sound of the running. It it feels very uh, Ninja Gaiden, um, which uh, I really enjoyed. And, and again, using the sound to create anticipation on that attack, and so this is where it's it's different from the one previous, where rather than having a sound happen when the screen changes, you have all sound stop to kind of accentuate that pausing in the air just before the attack. And that's another great way to add anticipation, where you just, everything just stops. And, and I love that. It, it adds that, like, th like, the air gets sucked out of it, like, and you're holding your breath for just almost what seems like maybe too long, and then the attack comes down. Uh, I thought that that was a great decision, a great job. It really helps to sell that anticipation. And that's a great example of how you can create anticipation in two different ways. You know, one way is to create that ding. So in this one here... You know, where the other sound stops except for that ding comes in. And then the other way is just to have all sound stop to create anticipation. So both are, are great choices. And, and that would be something that if you're working on a team with uh, an audio lead or you're working with a game developer, you know, to have that conversation about them, which, which sound feels better in terms of the game. And, and so this is an example where you know, you, you, there are different ways to create anticipation. There's no one right way. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And like I said, I love the, the, the low end synth on that attack. Um, using some of that high end sound to really create the attack and, and to sell that, um, to sell that these are sword swings, but then using that low end synth underneath to create some ominous, to create some weight to it. Uh, great job. I really enjoyed this sound. <laughs> and now for what we've all been waiting for, the winner of this month's sound design competition is... Lone Ranger Productions, otherwise known as, hey, shut up, this is Chris. 
on the Blip Sounds Discord server. This is his first time winning, so hopefully uh, when this airs, he is doing a happy dance right now, and uh, I look forward to celebrating with him on Discord. But let's go ahead and listen to his sound. There's a lot of uh, fun going on in here. And so there were kind of elements of 16 bits, some some modern elements in there. But uh, overall, I really liked uh, I really liked this sound because he also was able to add in some low end to it to give it a heavy attack. And I like that both attacks by Chrono and the frog are both like very different attacks. You know, just those two different sounds, and especially that, um, it, it it feels like a like a nineteen seventies or eighties like samurai film when the frog attacks. Um, you know, I really like that uh, that sound. I don't even think I could recreate it with my voice, but uh, it, it wonderful sound. Um, I even like some of the panning decisions so that it's not all just stuck in the middle, but that it kind of creates a stereo sound without there being stereo. <clears throat> uh, my one critique would be um, to add anticipation at the, the apex of Chrono's attack when the screen changes. Uh, you definitely add that uh, element in there where, uh, you know, you you use audio cues to line up with the changing of the screen. And you make it sound like a power-up attack, which I think is awesome. You know, I, I think it lends itself to like, hey, this is, you know, a power-up is happening. But maybe cutting out that, um, that chime that you have underneath stopping that to to create more anticipation of the tack. But having that that low end in there that when when Chrono swings his sword helps to add some weight to the attack. Like, you know, this is a heavy attack. The the character is taking or the enemy is taking a lot of damage and uh you know, I, overall, great job on that. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, so congratulations to Chris on, uh, on congratulations to Hey Shut Up, This Is Chris for winning uh, June's sound design competition. Uh, he did an incredible job. Everybody that entered did an incredible job. And like I said, it was it was difficult to narrow down uh, the top five or even select a winner. And so everybody should be proud. And uh, what Chris wins is a free month of the game audio training series. So if you want to learn more about that, check out blipsounds.com where you can uh, learn more about not only the game audio training series, but you can also sign up to uh, get some free courses on sound design as well as using um, FMOD. So if you've wanted to learn more about using a sound engine in your game, um, FMOD uh, is a great tool and we provide some resources on learning how to use it and connect it to Unity. The game audio training series goes way more in depth with uh, training videos and interviews with industry veterans or there's opportunities for hands-on training where we pair up with various uh, video games in development from uh, schools around the world and it gives you the chance to not only make sounds for a game but also to practice implementation putting them into an audio engine like fmod and syncing that engine and syncing that engine up with unity and learning troubleshooting skills and giving yourself some real hands-on training that sets you apart from other people looking to get into the industry. Um, also, if you are watching this on YouTube or on social media and you are not part of our 
Discord channel, I would highly recommend that you join us. There, it, wherever, wherever platform you're watching this, there should be a link around somewhere to our Discord channel. It's an open invite. We have a lot of members in there that range from industry veterans all the way to people that are just interested in sound design and wanting to learn more. It's a wonderful community. Uh, right now, there are people sharing their portfolios and getting uh, advice and getting feedback on that. There are people sharing their own uh, recreations of sounds from movies and video games and getting feedback on that from a lot of industry veterans and it's it's very very valuable so if you want to learn more check out the link below and I hope to see you in discord again everybody who entered did a fantastic job and I can't wait to see what you all do for July I hope you guys had a safe 4th of July for all of you in the US and I hope to everyone else around the world that you guys are having a great week so far um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.